Hi, welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Advanced Software Engineering. Today we'll talk about project management. There was a consultant who said, there is high quality, there is low costs, and uh, there is little time. Pick two. You can only have two. And that, to a certain extent, is true for any of the projects that you will be undertaking. There is this triangle of time, cost, and quality. And you will have to find the right balance for your project of where it needs to be. So for many systems, there is a clear differentiation, whether there is a really high time to market pressure and we just have to move no matter the cost and it needs to be decent quality. So in that case, we, we know where the trade-off lies. Um, so up here we have done quickly. And then down in this corner, we have the low cost. And over here, we have high quality. And then in between, um, we have fast and high quality. and expensive because it's as far away from low cost as possible. Down here we have low cost and high quality, but it'll take a long time. And over here we're gonna have the done quickly and the low cost, but that also means quality is not going to be that great. And maybe in your mind you think done quickly and low cost and low quality, that's what we're never ever going to go for. But actually there is a case for all of these, for when they all can be relevant. So the done quickly, low cost and low quality, that could be relevant, for example, if I have to make an early prototype to convince, say, a set of angel investors that I really have a good idea that's worth pursuing, and it's okay if that early prototype is low quality because I'm just making it to show that the idea in general is gonna work and that it may attract users. And then uh, fast and high quality and expensive, that's what we'll often have when we just need high reliability systems and we need to get them to the market. And down here, low cost, high quality and long time. If I know that cost is just my limitation but I do need the quality, then I will have to sacrifice the time for developing that system over a longer period of time. And so for any project situation that you come up with, you will always have to find the balance in between those three. And once you have that part figured out, you can plan out your project using either a Gantt chart tool or something like a, um, a board, a Trello board or a Kanban board. So for the Gantt charts, they, um, they've been around for at least a century, I think. Um, and Gantt charts, they will have a list of tasks. That I know I need to do for that project. If you want to make it really simple, that could be requirements, engineering, design, implementation, testing, and then deployment. And then for each of those, you know you're going to need a number of weeks 
and at the end of that number of weeks you will have a milestone. Those diamond shapes are for milestones. And so task two may start overlapping with task one and then have a diamond shape and then task three may also start at some point here in the middle. Implementation can already start before we're completely done with the design specifications and then Testing testing should definitely start as soon as we start with the implementation and it'll continue a little further just to make sure that we get the user acceptance in. And then finally deployment, well that's only going to be possible once we have most of that implementation done. So we're going to do that over this period of time. And then there would be some continued maintenance and evolution that goes along with that. And the Gantt charts are just the first rough schedule to help us break down what are the big things that we need to do. Of course, there is a lot more fine-grained planning that we need to do as well, and we're going to look at that in the subsequent chapters of this course.